More blood, more gore, more leaks, and maybe a trailer? Groovy. What's going on everybody? I'm Can't Kill Dill, lover of all things morbid, macabre, and horrific. If you are too, then great! We could be best friends. And also, there's some scream stuff. Strictly scream stuff that I want to talk about. First, I want to talk about this supposedly leaked image of Ghostface staring through the window of a subway car. And, you know, this is this is really cool as a potential as a potential poster. This is kind of badass. I really like it. Is it real? I don't fucking know. Uh, I mean, it's got about as much validity as everything else has been leaking the last few weeks. But, I mean, I can't argue that it's kind of dope. The worn mask, dude. So... <sighs> You can see clearly through the, you know, on this image, it's kind of, you know, blurry. It's low quality, obviously. It's got the tagline, New York, New Rules. A little poke fun at Scream 4 there, which is great. I love it. Uh, that's great shit. Um, you know, the title being the VI, Scream 6, and Roman numerals. Great. Um, now, here's where you get me. Because, dude, if they're going the worn mask route, ah, oh, I'm so... I don't know what it is about that detail that makes me feel... Like, it's less credible. Even when evidence starts to stack up for it, I'm like, uh. But, I mean, I'm thinking that's that's really what's happening. Um, it's not something I dislike. It's just something I never saw Scream doing. And um, I'm not against it. Not against it at all. I'm, I'm totally for it. As long as there's, like, a good reason. Like, I want there to be a reason with purpose. I don't want them to do something just to fucking do something. That being said, this is a cool fucking poster. If this is real, I mean, it's cool if it's not real either. Also, I mean, great. Great fan made shit, awesome. Um, but no, this this looks cool. Um, is it a real image from the film? I don't know. Um, cool idea. Let's see if like a high qual higher quality version comes out. I'd like to see an HD version of this thing. Um, a lot of leaks coming, dude. Uh, I mean that that trailer's got to be around the corner, right? Anyways, just thought I'd, I'd talk about that for a sec because pretty cool. I want to move on to some other shit, though. Melissa Barrera just had an interview with Collider, which they uh, have posted. And, um, you know, again, they're really putting a lot of emphasis on this gore thing. And I don't know if I'm getting excited or getting nervous or maybe just both. Scream 6, Melissa Barrera says sequel is going all out on gore. Exclusive. Ahead of her new movie, Bed Rest, premiering on Tubi December 7th, actress Melissa Barrera sat down with Collider's Christian Radish to discuss the new psychological horror. Barrera has become something of a scream queen since taking on the role of Sam Carpenter in the Scream franchise's requel earlier this year. So naturally, we had to take this opportunity to inquire about the upcoming Scream 6, set to release in theaters March 2023. As it turns out, directing duo Matt bettinelli Oplin and Tyler Gillette won't be holding anything back gore-wise this time around. Again, this isn't the first time we're hearing this. Um, so I think we're like in, we're in for a treat, I think. During her interview, we asked about how it feels to step into an established franchise and essentially inherit the legacy. In Barrera's case, she literally inherited the Woodsboro trauma as Sam Carpenter, the daughter of one of Scream's original killers. Barrera loves the franchise and the family she's made with the cast and says there's also something really, really special and unique about the Scream fandom. They know that they are a part of the team. They know that they have to show up for us if they want another one. And they did. These fans of Collider want to know about the level of gore in Scream 6, to which the actress explained. There was a saying on set because Matt and Tyler were always asking for more blood and more sweat. They always just wanted more. More blood spritz was the saying because they would just always want more. With the last Scream, they were tiptoeing and trying to be very respectful of what the franchise had been up until that point and keeping their inner gory dreams at bay. But with this one, they were like, we're going all out. It's potentially a hundred times gorier. Potentially a hundred times gorier. That's what she said. I'm sure that's an exaggeration. Granted, Scream, Scream 5 wasn't, you know, overly gory. Uh, it was kind of brutal. There were some gnarly scenes. I mean, you know, thinking of Wes Hicks. That was that was kind of gnarly. That was brutal, dude. A um, hundred times gorier? That's a big fucking claim there, Melissa. But I'm here for it. Um... Dude, again, this just gets me so fucking hyped. Oh my fucking lord. And now I want to talk about the trailer. You know, kind of floating around the Twitter sphere, the Twitterverse over there. Um, maybe this trailer's going to drop next week? Or this week? Uh, next week, maybe? I mean, honestly, it's coming out in March. That thing could drop in any day now. And it's the perfect time to drop it. I mean, 
Jenna Ortega is is everywhere right now because of fucking Wednesday, right? So, I mean, if she's trending, I mean, now's the time. Now is the time to drop this trailer. It's going to come out any fucking day, I am sure. Oh, my God. I'm super nervous about this trailer. Um, main thing is because, okay, the trailer for Scream 5, like, what is up... <sighs> I feel like they gave away the whole the whole Mocker House thing in the trailer. They shouldn't have done that. That was so fucking... Maybe they did it to, like, get us old school fans back. I mean, we're always going to fucking see it anyways. Come on. But um, I'm not sure why they did that. What a fucking, like, cool moment that would have been in the movie not knowing that. I'm sure for those who may have, like, forced themselves to not watch the trailer and went and saw it opening night without any knowledge of, like, the trailers or anything like that, probably would have been... Probably were blown away. Um... I'm not that kind of person. I can't stop myself from watching the trailer. I'm going to watch the fucking trailer. 100%. I'll probably do a trailer reaction too. I got it, I guess. I got it, right? I just hope that they don't give anyth anything away like that. They probably won't. I and mean, this is all new territory for them, I guess. Man, I'm excited. Um, leave your thoughts down below, guys. Uh, you know, let's fucking talk about it. Don't forget to stab the like button, slash subscribe, and got that bell notification. We can be best friends. Later. Oh, God.